Hello friends, this video on integrals part 42 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 41. Till now what we have seen is we find the integral, different integral by if you have for example a to b fx dx. First I find the entry derivative of this. Then I find f of b minus f of a. Right? This is still a better way than my crude way when I used to find b minus a into limit 1 by n n tends to infinity f of a f of a plus h. So this was a very crude way. Then we made our life little bit better by finding uh, f b minus f a. We can make it all the more better. So we did not find f b minus f a also. Sometimes we can just use some properties of definite integral to solve the question. They will really not find all these values. So some of the properties which we use is if I have fx dx from a to b, this is nothing but ft dt from a to b. That is, you change this guy from x to y, z, anything, use any notation. If my function is same and if my upper limit and lower limit is same, I get the same answer. Similarly, this guy, if my fx dx from a to b is nothing but minus of fx dx from b to b. So you change the uh, upper limit and lower limit, you get a negative sign here. And that also implies if you put a is equal to a here, that you get fx dx from a to a is 0. And logically also if you have some function you are applying integrating from this point to this point itself, that means there is no value, there is no area covered. So that you get this guy is 0. Derive this, just put a is equal to a, you get f, fx dx from a to a is minus of fx dx from a to a. That means 2 of fx dx a to a is 0. That means fx dx a to a is 0. Also, you have fx dx integration from a to b. That is equal to fx dx integration from a to c. And then from c to b where c is somewhere between a and b. Logically also if you see if you have this graph. You have from a to b have some integration. That is equal to from a to let's suppose c. You add this guy. Then c to b you add this guy. You add both this, you get this guy. f of dx from a to b is nothing but f of a plus b minus x dx. This is a critical formula. This we use this, this we use very very frequently. Please understand this or uh, please remember this. fx dx from a to b is nothing but f of a plus b minus x from a to b. Similarly, fx dx from 0 to a is nothing but fx dx from 0 to a plus f of 2a minus x from 0 to a and these this formula from 0 to 2 fx dx is 2 into fx dx if this guy is equal to this guy is equal to 0 if f of 2a minus x is equal to minus of fx. Logically also if you see these two are from same b in this case if these two are equal this becomes 2 fx dx if this is equal to minus of this this whole thing becomes 0. So these formulas are derived, this formula is derived from this formula itself. Similar to this we have more similar formula from minus 2 a to a fx dx nothing but 2 into fx dx if it is even function that is f of minus x is equal to f of x and it is 0 if it is odd function that is f of minus x nothing but minus of fx. So please make a note of these properties 0 to uh, a to b fx dx is a to b, f t d t, f y, d y, any any variable you take, all the same. b to a f x d x is minus of a to b f x d x. If you change this upper limit, lower limit, you get a minus sign here. a to b is nothing but a to c and c to b f x d x even same. This is a critical formula f of x d x from a to b is nothing but f of a plus b minus x d x a to b, and these formulas from 0 to 2 fx dx is nothing but this guy fx dx 0 to a and 0 to 2 a f of 2a minus x dx. Now depending on this guy is equal to this guy you get twice of this this guy is equal to minus of this guy you get 0 and minus a to a is fx dx is also equal to 2 fx dx from 0 to a if it is even and 0 if it is odd. Now you will be telling why will I believe you why, what is the proof? So, let's do one thing, let's prove all this. Let's prove the first theorem. 
So to prove to prove the first thing, what I'll do is I'll put x equal to t. So if I put x equal to t, my dx is dt. Also, since x when x is equal to a, t is equal to x, so t is also equal to a. When x is equal to b, this guy, t is also equal to b. So my limit also doesn't change. So this becomes a to b, and this becomes f of t. If x is equal to t, dx is dt. This is dt. So if you see, both are same. Very simple. Just by putting x equal to t, we can find that f x dx is equal to f dt. Let's go for the second proof. F f x dx from a to b is minus of f x dx from b to a. So if you see this guy, this guy L H S, if you see, is nothing but f of b minus f of a. Correct. This guy. Entity derivative of f you find, then find f of b, and then find f of a, where f is nothing but Anti derivative of of small f x capital f x nothing but anti derivative of anti derivative. I'll write it clearly. Is anti derivative of f x. If you see the right hand side, this guy. Is nothing but minus of f of a minus f of b, and this is nothing but f of b minus f of a. Now, if you see, both my LHS and RHS are same. Thus, I can say that both are equal. Correct. My LHS was this, RHS is this, and I can say that LHS is equal to RHS, so both are same, and hence true. Similarly, this guy. In the same equation, let me put a is equal to a or b is equal to a. So this equation is nothing but from a to instead of b, I write a f x d x is equal to minus of instead of b, I write a to a f x d x. So this is nothing but two a to a f x d x is equal to zero, or I get a to a. Fx dx equal to zero. Let's take the third proof. The third proof says that f of x from a to b is nothing but f of x a to c and then c to b. So in this case, also let's write the LHS. If my f capital F x is anti derivative of small f x, then my second theorem, second law, you get this guy is nothing but Capital F of B minus F of A. Let's see what my RHS is. This guy becomes F of C minus F of A, C minus F of A. Plus, this guy becomes F of B minus F of C. This is F of capital F of B minus capital F of C. So this guy is nothing but if you see F of C, F of C cancel. This guy becomes F of B minus F of And if you see, my LHS is equal to RHS, correct? And thus I can say that this property is true. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.